Hey guys, this is the Bane Max Man, and uh, I've got some more uh, Laserdisc uh, titles that uh, just came into my collection. And I've got, I think, three or four more movie titles that are coming in. Uh, I'm going to have some more beta machines coming in uh, to work on as well. Um, you guys seem to like my, uh, Laserdisc videos, and, uh, you guys are probably just as big of a fan as Laserdisc as I am. I'm a huge, uh, Laserdisc fan, and, uh, I wish that, uh, you know, the format would have lasted longer but uh you know it did last for you know a little bit over you know 20 years so uh laser disc had a, a pretty good run um you know and i i think that uh in some ways i think laser disc was better than dvd uh laser disc didn't have uh, the uh, the video was not compressed like it is on a DVD uh, you know the laser disc was obviously an analog video source a video format you know analog video and uh, you know yeah they couldn't uh, fit more than uh, up to 60 minutes per side you know sure you had to flip the disc uh, but if you've got a machine like I've got that plays both sides um, putting in a uh, movie isn't a big deal because most movies came on one disc and if you've got a player like I do that plays both sides you wouldn't have to get up and change the disc at all. You can just watch the whole thing um, on your on your player and operate it with your remote. But um, sometimes, you know, they do come with an additional disc, such as this particular movie, um, Paint Your Wagon. And it has Clint Eastwood in it and uh, this, I believe, it's about a three-hour film, or close to three hours. So they actually had to put it on two discs. So if you're watching this movie, uh, you got to about two hours in, and then you had to put in the second disc. But we're going to show you this. So I've only got three titles to show you. And like I said, I've got three, four more coming in. Um, I'm, you know, really starting to get back into, uh, collecting laser discs again. And, uh, I've kind of stopped collecting, uh, CEDs. Um, I was on collecting laser discs for a while. Uh, then I went to, to collecting the CEDs. And now I'm kind of back to collecting the, um, the little LDs, the laser discs. So there's the back. And then, like I said, this one has two discs. And we have the Walt Disney uh, movie, Man of the House, Chevy Chase, and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Uh, which is a very uh, talented actor. Um, both of them are, are good, but I think Jonathan Taylor Thomas, you know, his acting career really probably got started with uh, Home Improvement. Uh, that particular TV show was really, um, really good for his acting career. Um, and then this one was new. This was a sealed copy. 
paint your wagon was used uh the man of the house this is a was a new a new copy as you can tell that it's nice and and glossy as you can tell that it's new and here's another uh one that i bought that was new uh this is the star trek next generation tv series uh they only put two episodes uh per disc now this particular show ran uh, for approximately 42 to 45 minutes long. So they put one episode on one side and the other episode on side B. So, but this one is Devil's Do and Clues. And episodes uh, 87 and 88. And um, they actually did a lot better um, on the mastering process with Laserdiscs than they did the DVDs. I think Laserdiscs had a lot better uh cleaner uh transfer the transfers they made to dvd were not nearly as good as the laser disc and if you watch the original first time that this was released on dvd which had those little gray colored uh booklets and there was like a set of like seven DVD discs per set um, they were mastered lousy compared to the Laserdisc mastering um, the mastering process that was done for Laserdisc was in my opinion way better and the colors of the uniform uh, they're actually a uh, red uniform so the color red uh, looked more like the color pink on the DVD releases but on the laser discs releases you can tell that the the color red their suits were actually more of a red reddish color you could tell more that they were red I don't know why, but the DVDs just for some reason it almost looks like uh, kind of a purplish color, you know, not really, not pink, but not really purple either, but it was kind of a purple tint to the red uniforms, but I just think that uh, they really just did not, um, they really didn't do a very good job when they released them for the first time on DVD. And of course, uh, I believe CBS bought out the um, Star Trek Next Generation series and they actually released it out on uh, Blu-ray. So you can buy this TV series on Blu-ray now. And the Blu-ray transfers look more um, real than any any of the formats. But Laserdisc was really uh, good quality. Um, but Blu-ray, the Blu-ray releases are nice. I mean, you can tell that the uniforms are red in the uh, Blu-ray uh, discs. But the problem is that they, they, the colors are, they've adjusted the contrast uh, a little high, in my opinion. I think that uh, when they were doing the digital processing that they did uh, on restoring uh, they I think they did go back they had to have went back to the original film print and uh, done the and scanned the um, 
film in uh, 1080 to put them on Blu-ray, but when they were doing that digital processing, because the computer, they can use their computers and there's software that can clean the image up, you know, that can get rid of any kind of, like, film grain scratches or, you know, just things like that, but if you really love this particular TV series, or even the other Star Trek TV series like uh, Deep Space Nine or Voyager, um, you'd want to get the uh, the laser discs. Uh, I would highly recommend getting the series on laser disc. Now it's obviously something that it, it's an expensive uh, way to buy them because uh, these discs only hold two episodes and they can cost anywhere from uh, I've found anywhere from like uh, 15 all the way up to $30 um, if you're going to buy them still sealed like I do I try and buy them sealed because I don't like buying used discs because you don't know how much scratches have been put on it, you know. Uh, I bought from sellers that say the disc was in mint condition. And in fact, only the cover was in mint condition, but the disc itself was not. It had scratches, and so I, I like to have the, the new old stock, you know ones that nobody has watched, nobody has scratched. So I'm trying to buy all of them uh, new if I can. Um, I may not be able to buy them all new and yeah it'll take me a long time to collect the whole series on Laserdisc but it is something that I want to do later on down the road so anyway I just thought I would share this video with you and uh, thought I would tell you some more titles uh, there are some more titles coming up uh, the adventures of uh, Pinocchio that's got Jonathan Taylor Thomas in it that one is coming in the mail and I've got uh, Steven Seagal movies, uh, Fire Down Below, uh, Under Siege, and Under Siege 2. And those are all on Laserdisc that are going to be coming in the mail. So actually tomorrow I should have them and should be able to watch one or two of them tomorrow night after I get off work. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, watch Fire Down Below, because that's one of my favorite movies with uh, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal is one of my favorite actors, just because his ability, his just his fighting skills are just awesome. It's awesome to watch him, you know, fight somebody, you know, just the fighting skills that he has, and in fire down below he uses uh, uh, lumber in the back of the truck to uh, defend himself and he's like see now I'm damaging my wood you know so that was great but uh, anyway so I've got more laser discs coming in and uh, I do also plan on buying a few more uh, movie titles uh, on Betamax as I find them it's kind of a treat when I buy uh, some movies or a TV series on either Laserdisc or Betamax. It's kind of a treat for me to sit down and watch. It's kind of like all my hard work, all the, the stress that I'm, you know, at with my job and you know, budgets and, and deadlines and just you know, <clears throat> it's nice to, you know, treat myself to uh, a movie or a TV show on, 
you know, Laserdisc or, or Betamax because those two formats, those are my two favorite formats. And um, I think Laserdisc would, would uh, probably be one of my most favorite ways of watching uh, stuff. I just Laserdisc has always been... Uh, you know, for the last several years, Laserdisc has been a big uh, part of my life. Just enjoying Laserdisc and, you know, the fact that when I was a kid growing up, this was just something that was too expensive, you know, and so my dad never did uh, buy Laserdisc, but he wanted to buy one, but he just, he said that the prices were just too too expensive back in the 80s it was just it was just too expensive and so he never never got one and and i was a uh i was actually in high school and uh my science teacher mr flynn had science videos on laser disc and that was my first encounter with a uh, laser disc so it was the first time i actually seen one in real life because you know I heard about them I seen them in magazines or I'd see them you know I'd see the covers or something that Hollywood video but I never actually was seen the real life disc in person I'd seen it in magazines and stuff like that but not in real person so my science teacher gave me the opportunity to see a laser disc in real life you know actually see it and you know hold it in my hand because i think i asked if i could look at it and he gave it to me i thought it was pretty cool so i just but yeah this was um the 80s and 90s this was how you could watch a movie and not have to have you don't have to hit rewind you know there was no rewind time and this was one of the series that um i grew up watching i um growing up as a as a kid uh, i remember seeing this series and my dad and my mom and dad and my uncle never missed an episode and so we were us kids were always at the tv set watching you know the star trek next generation you know wondering what episode was going to come out next week and oh what what was uh what's this one about you know going on the on the tv guide i remember you had to buy see back in the day back when i was a kid you had to buy uh, a tv guide and it would tell you what was on certain stations and nowadays you 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 hit the uh guide button on your uh remote and it'll pop up and tell you what's playing but back in the 80s and 90s the only way that we knew what was on is by buying a tv guide and the TV guide looked like a little booklet. It was just a miniaturized, it was a little book. It was just a book with all the movies and shows listed that were playing on these channels. Like, you know, Channel 2, 6, 8, 12, 49. You know, uh, we had some, some UHF and... Uh, stations and VHF stations you used to have to turn the knob to either UHF or VHF and UHF was all of the low band the, the lower channels like channels 2 through say 2 through 13 and then you know the um, VHF was was the channels like say channels 20 all the way up to like say the 80s or whatever you know so anyway this video has gone on long enough and uh you've heard me ramble on long enough so i'll end the video with uh with this and uh i will see you guys in the next video bye bye